Solar Products ActiveEyes 3.0 is a circulating cold water therapy system designed for post-surgery recovery and pain management. This system is extremely reliable when properly set up and maintained, with customers reporting very few difficulties. In the event you do have an issue, let's go over a few tips that may help resolve it. If you feel that your therapy pad is not cooling as expected, or the water is not properly circulating, go through the following steps, one at a time, until the issue is resolved. To begin, turn off the system and remove the therapy pad from the body. Now, lay the system out on a flat, level surface. Confirm the power outlet you're using is working. The ActiveEyes system power supply should be plugged securely into a functioning outlet. The other end of the power supply connects into the programmable timer. Lastly, the programmable timer is plugged into the cooling reservoir. Make sure all connections are secure and seated properly. Lift the cooling reservoir lid and confirm there is enough water. Use the water fill line sticker inside the cooling reservoir to verify. The pump should be completely underwater. At no time should water cover the water return flow tube located near the top of the cooling reservoir. You should be using four to six fully frozen 500 milliliter water bottles for the nine quart system and 10 to 12 for the 16 quart system. If you are using ice, be sure the cooling reservoir is fully loaded with ice to just below the water return flow tube. Press the timer on off button. The screen will light up and flash between 10 and the word on. You will hear the pump turn on and water will begin circulating through the system. Confirm water is flowing out of the water return flow tube located inside the cooling reservoir. If you can hear the pump running, but do not see any water returning into the cooling reservoir, disconnect the couplings attaching the therapy pad to the insulated tubing and reconnect. This can be done while the system is running. Couplings will click when properly connected. It may be necessary to rotate the therapy pad 180 degrees before reconnecting. Allow the system to run for a few minutes laid out flat with the therapy pad not attached to the body. This will establish a good flow throughout the system and will help prevent flow restrictions while attaching the therapy pad. After a few minutes, attach the therapy pad to the target body part using the included elastic belts while keeping an eye on the return water flow. Make sure there are no kinks or sharp bends in the insulated tubing that connects the therapy pad to the cooling reservoir. Make sure the therapy pad is not strapped down to the body too aggressively. You may need to decrease the tension of the therapy pad belts to ensure an even flow through the system. You may need to raise the cooling reservoir to a higher surface, such as a table or chair, to reduce the back pressure. If excess condensation appears on the surface of the therapy pad, Wrap the outer side with an ACE bandage or a similar material to prevent warm, humid air from coming into contact with the pad. The use of a blanket may also trap warm, moist air above the surface of the therapy pad, causing condensation. If you cannot resolve your issue using these troubleshooting tips, please call our customer service department, located with our factory in Stowe, Ohio. We are available at 1-800-763-8423, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And we love to answer our phones. Thank you for choosing Polar Products Active Ice Cold Therapy System.